Hey guys, so the track works down now and it's time to get started on the track beaters. So let's get started. Alright, so we have a one turnout here, then we have another turnout over here, and I've got a single piece of flex track going from turnout to turnout. So this length of track here will be two block sections. So uh, the way I'll be doing it is dropping a, a rail A feeder here, then another rail A feeder there, and do a rail B black feeder at the back. Each turnout there has an insulated joiner, insulated joiner, then I'll get the Dremel tool and I'll just cut the inner rail there, and that will create the two block sections. So I flipped the table over and you can see the feeder wires coming out here, you can see the two rail A's, and there is the rail B already up to the bus line. These rail A ones of course become, each one of these is a block section and that will make its way to the BDL 168. Now over here you may notice I've connected one of the rail A's up to the bus line. I'm um, just using that as a way of running trains around the track making sure I'm not getting any um, derailments or um, you know stuff like that. But after I'm finished um, mucking around with running trains and stuff I'll simply just cut this wire off put a bit of insulation tape around that and this will eventually just run it to make its way to the BDL 168 alright so here's a shot at the other end of the layout I'm just showing you that I, I am connecting up the rail A to the bus line at the moment and that is allowing me to run trains around fully around the layout and test them out and stuff but uh, yeah I'll be cutting them off and that's about it so Okay, so at the end of this spur, I'm going to make the program track, and I'm just going to—I've just got a track saw, and I've just cut it, and I've just completely isolated this last section from the layout, and then running the two droppers straight to the program track wiring. Okay, so this is the programming track wires. I've got two feeders coming off the the little program track that I've made, and these are the two wires that I previously connected it up uh, to run out to the program track. So. So that pretty much wraps up that video. Um, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to start wiring up all the uh, switch machines. And uh, so that should be my next video. So see you then.